Welcome back to Scotty's Hobbies. Today we are looking at a 2007 Dodge Charger. This is a 5.7, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing today. I'm using this machine right here. This is a smoke diagnostic machine uh, to find a EVAP leak. This has a EVAP small leak. I think it's a P0456. I'll verify and put the code somewhere right here on the video. But what you do on here is you connect it to a power source, the battery, or on this case, the battery is not under the hood. So there is a positive terminal over there and a negative I'm using over there. And that is powering the smoke machine. You just turn it on right here. Oh, you can see my light ring pretty good in this video. But you turn the power on right here. You could adjust the flow rate using this knob. And when you're ready for smoke, you just hit this button right here and it'll stay on for five minutes and induce smoke. In this case, in the EVAP system, but you could also use this for a uh, vacuum leak on the intake system as well. I do have a video on finding a vacuum leak on an intake system coming out if it's not already out, so make sure you check out the video library. But let me show you the right way to do this. So when you induce smoke, in this case, what I am doing is, or what I did do, is I disconnected the hose coming from the rear of the vehicle from the tank or the canister. This is your vapor purge, so this bottom hose is the one that is coming from the back. The top hose right here is the one going to uh, the intake. I used the hose from the smoke machine, plugged it right into the hose, like so, just like that. So I'm inducing smoke into the whole EVAP system to the back of the vehicle, to the canister. Uh, I plugged off the fuel cap using a bag. I put a bag under the fuel cap and then put the fuel cap back on. and. You would think that would be good enough to do a smoke diagnosis, but what you really need to do is come to the back of the vehicle. On this vehicle specifically is under the fender well right here on the rear passenger side, but you got to find your either leak detection pump, your eSIM, or your vapor vent solenoid and plug the hose leaving the vapor vent solenoid because when you induce smoke into the system without plugging this, smoke will just escape right out of this hose right here into the atmosphere like it's doing its job so to do a proper smoke or pressurize the evap system using smoke you must plug the hose that is venting to ambient as well hopefully you can see that am i showing you anything i probably didn't one thing i forgot to add when doing the smoke diagnostic when you plug your vapor vent or your eSIM vent hose you might want to also if you're only getting leaks out of the fuel cap so if you notice there's smoke coming out around the fuel cap you might also want to throw like a plastic bag on the threads of the fuel cap and put the fuel cap back on because the fuel cap isn't designed to hold like a ton of pressure they have a little pintle inside them or a little spring inside them so if they over pressurize they will allow vapors or fumes to escape through that fuel cap too so when you do a smoke diagnosis leave the cap on it first if you're only getting smoke from the fuel cap go ahead and put a plastic bag around the threads and then screw it back on i use like an old like walmart or safeway bag uh, to do this and that will help you seal up the actual fuel cap threads just so you pressurize the whole system so that's another little pointer that i kind of forgot to add uh, and well i guess we're adding it now so let's continue so with this closed or plugged off i'm able to actually pressurize the whole evap system now if you didn't do that if you didn't plug the evap vapor vent hose or the hose that is venting into the ambient or the atmosphere i should say uh you're just going to get smoke coming out of that hose it's not going to pressurize the system so i just want to let you guys know if you're doing a smoke diagnosis and you're not getting it to pressurize that might be your reason why make sure the hose leaving the vent solenoid or your eSIM is plugged and then you will be able to actually pressurize the system and find the leak Hopefully this video does help you out. And if it did, comment below with the year, make, and model of the vehicle that it did help you on. Look for a link in the description below for the smoke diagnostic machine that I'm using, which is right over here. I'll put a link in the description for this thing right here. But check out Scotty's Hobbies. I got this cool new brake lathe I'm going to be using, putting it to work soon. Showing you some videos on that too. I will see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video.